Ooh, okay. This was seventh grade in middle school. It was a perfect day for me. You know, I was walking around school. I went to my classes. I was doing my work. Ooh. You know, I was talking to people, getting roasted for my shoes. Hold on, brother. Hold, hold on, on, hold on, man. What the hell? Oh my God, he talking out the side of his mouth there, boy. You know, the normal stuff, the normal things that people do. I remember I went to the library and I saw this one girl and she would get some like sort of special treatment. And I would wonder, I was like, why is this girl getting so much special treatment for some reason? Why is she getting treated so, so greatly for some reason? I had to find, I had to look and see who she was. I waited to see her turn around. I saw her turn around. She was just some girl. And then I looked down. I saw a stummy. I was like, oh, she, she's just a little overweight. Okay, okay. She's just, just a little bit overweight. And um, I had to ask someone. I was like, hey, why are they treating her so nicely compared to everybody else? Like, how come she gets to do this? How come she gets to go home early? But we have to stay all day and um i remember i, I was asking uh the dudes this and they didn't know then i asked a girl this and she was like oh you don't know know what she's pregnant say that again she's pregnant what the fuck It, it shocked me because not only are you in middle school, but you're pregnant in middle school. You had a kid in middle school, which means you were- Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Wow, that is absolutely insane. I feel like if you smashing in high school, you should've been wearing a condom. If you, Actually, that wasn't even high school, that was in middle school. If you're, don't, why would you even wanna, oh! Why would the, why? No, middle school is a no, no, no. No way. That is horrible. High school, I'd say you should know better because you don't want to be out here taking care of a kid while you're still in high school. Because that's, that's your life right there. That's your whole life right there. Basically, your life is over. The things that you wanted to do, you can't do anymore because you have a kid. Me, I'm... <laughs> Uh, I'm not I'm not ready to have a kid right now. That's that is insane I'm not ready to have a kid at this age anytime soon I will say that if you do have a kid in high school, I hope you're doing okay I know people will say having a kid was the best decision of my life. Yeah, blah 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 yada 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 I just hope you're doing okay. I know some people who have had mm. <laughs> I can't say that. Um, I know people say that they weren't going anywhere before they had a kid. They didn't know what they were going to do with their lives. I know some people do that. They don't know what they're doing with their lives later. So they just have a kid. That's the sad truth. Some people just do that. There are, there are pregnancies that are like, yeah, 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 I, I know. Planned. I just don't know. I just don't know. I said that. It was un unplanned. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, unplanned pregnancy is kind of scary. And I will say people who do have children after high school, like couple, like years later. Okay, but when you have it right after, like, the, like it hasn't even been a year. It hasn't been two years. You have it right after. I feel like you know in your head that you just, ah, oh, man, man, planned or not. I don't think that's the best decision. I don't think that's the best life decision because life is gonna get hard and it's, it's a struggle. And I don't know if you really wanna go through that struggle. What's something good I can say about this? My condolences. Oh my God. I hope you, the families that had kids at an early age, at a young age in high school, I hope they're doing all right. I hope they are not struggling as much. I think underage pregnancy is very disgusting. That's all I can say. Thank you all for watching. It's Ken. I'll see you all next time. Peace when I'm rolling around. Try to keep me close, but look how when I needed you the most, you was out. The least I could do is a cow. Pizzeria, though, big amount. Fire in a hole, burning out his soul like they seen a ghost in his shell.